welcome to my channel, Angela Studio, where I document my journey of starting my small business, making art and couture inspired by Oriental history and culture. Today I'm unboxing some brand materials I ordered from Vistaprint. Since I wanted to start making garments and artwork to sell in craft fairs, I thought it'd be a good idea to prepare business cards, clothing pads, and stickers now for when I do sell my items. I think it's so cute when I purchase something at a craft fair or on Etsy and all the packaging has their brand name or logo on it. I finally got my logo made. I've had this idea for what I wanted my logo to be for several months, but I was struggling with art paralysis. So I decided to bite the bullet and find someone on Fiverr to make it for me. I will be uploading a video about my experience having my logo made on Fiverr, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So for Vistaprint, you can either use their templates or design your marketing materials from scratch. About three years ago, I used Vistaprint to make some art business cards back when I was doing realistic portraiture. I just used a general template with some flowers that I thought looked pretty. But this time around, I definitely wanted to wait until I got my logo set up and use that instead. And I ordered stickers for when wrapping a shipment with some tissue and sealing it with a sticker rather than tape. It makes the product look so much more elegant. I'd also like to obtain one of those wax seals with a stamp with my logo on it. I think that would be adorable. My business cards now have a QR code on the back side which is linked to my website angelasredzyoung.com Unboxing today, I had my special helper, Roy. He's my nephew dog. He's lived with me for several years and if you watch my other videos, you'll know that my twin Sheba puppies Bambi and Marshmallow often help me unbox too. As far as my art and garment style goes, it's still evolving but I'm interested in exploring Orientalism in the late 19th century and early 20th century. As a person of Asian descent who's grown up with a lot of Western culture, I'm in the process of shifting my focus away from European history, fashion, and art styles and towards my Asian roots. I'll be diving into Japanese painting style Nihonga, which believe it or not, greatly influenced European Impressionist artist Van Gogh, Degas, Monet and Cassatt, etc. And I'm sewing and embroidering clothing inspired by this period of Japanese and Chinese art and fashion. In my creations, I want to pull from my own memories and experiences growing up with Asian immigrant family members, whether that's the colors of a kite my grandma brought from China or the packaging of candies we got from the Asian supermarket. But I also want to bring back styles from the past, looking at old photographs of what my great grandparents wore. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and check out my other playlists. Bye!